Welcome back, Stasa23 here, back again with some knife therapy, and before I get started, I'd like to say thanks to Mr. Dave Warren. He sent this knife out to our pass around group, so we can check it out, really appreciate it. And if you're interested in buying this knife, go check out his site, Mr. Dave Warren, him and his wife, super awesome people, and um, he's their U.S. distributor for two knives. So, let's dive into this guy. Um... Uh, the packaging comes with this nice zipper pouch, kind of like Kaiser pouches, and um, get a come in a little baggie. There's Mr. Dave's card. Love, hey, this thing might not not might not stay with the knife because I absolutely love that. It's almost like it's a chamois cloth on most they put in a little bit better than I think the microfiber cloth. So let's kind of get into this knife and what this knife is. First of all, let me get started. This is the Two Your Knives SNS which stands for our Sunday Night Special. It comes in right at $109 on Mr. Warren's site. And I think the function of this knife is designed to be used as a micro knife, which is, in my, in my opinion, a little bit bigger than your keychain knives, like, say, this man bug. Uh, to me, this is a keychain size knife and weight. Uh, I could easily throw this one on the keychain. Now, you could throw this one on the keychain if you'd like, but for me, this is, this is more of a usable uh, EDC knife than your, you know, just cutting tape and stuff with your man bug. All right, so let's dive into this guy some, with some quick specs. You have an overall length of five and three quarters inches. So like I said, it's not, not a big knife. I thought it was before it was sent to me, but to my surprise. Um, you have a total blade length of two and a half inches, so it'll be legal in just about every area that has those type of restrictions. You have a cutting edge of two and three eighths inches. You have a handle length of three and a quarter with a grip area of two and three quarters inches. You have a handle thickness at the wide, at the thickest portion at 0.42, so it's nice and slim with your average being half inch. Uh, at your widest portion, um, the width is 0.68 inches, and um, it's nice and thinly ground, flat ground blade. At the thinnest portion in this recurve, I got uh, 21 thousandths, like right here in the back, and toward this portion and this portion of the knife comes in at right around 23, 24 thousandths. So still a good slicer, especially for how, how thin it is this way in height. It, it's nice to see that they still kept it decently thinly ground. Uh, this thing is super duper light at 1.42 ounces. Uh, this is one that you could definitely either put in that uh, coin pocket or just drop it in the pocket. You can use the pocket clip. It is functional. I'll show you what it looks like in your flat pockets. There you go, that much sticking out, and let's see, in the slanted pockets, that much sticking out. For me, I, I tossed it in my coin pocket in my uh, shorts, and like I said, I dare, barely noticed it was there. Um, <clears throat> any other specs that I, oh, blade stock on this guy is three millimeters, so it's not overly thick. You know, I, I hate when they do small knives like this and you have a four or five millimeter blade. It just doesn't make any sense to me. So let's dive into it in detail. You have this nice drop point recurve right here. Uh, and I'm not a, a recurve fan, mainly because of the sharpening aspect. But I was able to touch this portion up on my Spyderco Sharp Maker, being that it has those diamond points to it. Just do it on the point side and not a problem. Um, I'm sure you could do it on a fixed angle system. You just have to be careful that you're uh, that you're not hitting one side more than the other. Uh, let's see. Um, the blade has a nice stone wash finish. You have this top swedge that thins out that point, tapers it down to a nice precise point. Um, you have the two Yanaj logo on this side. I kind of like their logo. It's tasteful there. Well done. On this side, you have two your knife, and you have the blade steel, CPMS 35VN, and I'm guessing this 97, they do them in batches of 100, so I'm guessing that's 97 of 100. 
it's, you know, nice that they kept that out of the way. Um, look at the top right here. You have some jimping, and that jimping is very effective. Let's see. It's deeply cut, and um, whenever you bear down there, you, your thumb definitely grabs traction and doesn't have that much, but definitely well done. Close this guy up. You also have that same type of jimping on the flipper tab. Gives you nice traction in the uh, light switch and in the push button method, just just as good. But definitely rockets out both ways. You know, it's not easy. I've heard from many companies that the little knives are a lot harder to make because you know there is the tolerance is all tight. They did a great job on this, <clears throat> and uh, definitely cool to see. Um, let's see. You have a nice, generous lanyard hole, which to me, in your micro knives, this is when I see a lanyard uh, being being something that would definitely benefit because, you know, I have a three-finger grip right here. If you have that lanyard, you got something else to hold on to, essentially giving you kind of a four-finger grip. So definitely a, a good thing to see on a, on a micro knife. Um, you have a nice attractive two-tone anno here you have a uh, light blue as your uh, primary color I should have cleaned it down before and then you have undertones on your high spots of gold you can see that right here down the middle and kinda in the inside right there they also have this this nice milling lines on the scales itself just think that's a nice attractive touch they have chamfered all the way around the edges so you have no sharp spots on the scales. And I love the way they did the contouring on here. It has that 3D contouring effect by putting two large chamfers meeting in the middle. So you have that nice rounded area right here. Uh, you have standard T6 torques right here that are pretty good. Um, there wasn't a whole lot of wiggle there. Just a blank pivot there. And you have a flat flathead pivot on this side. Only one thing that I didn't like is that um, no U.S. currency coins fit in that slot. So just something to note. You have a bronze 3D milled titanium pocket clip that works well if you're going to use it. A matching bronze uh, backspace, titanium backspacer, pretty much a flow through construction. Um, let me make sure I touched on everything. And like I said, in your ergos... You have this, this nice three-finger grip. I definitely feel like I'm locked in here, comfortable. Uh, I guess if you wanted to do that, it's just a little bit more dangerous. I would never use it like this. I use it like this a good bit with that, that drag cutting to cut through boxes and stuff like that, make some precise cuts. I did notice when I was cutting through boxes, this recurve did its job. You know, starting right here when you pull through, this belly that pops up right there would bite into the cuts, making the cuts a lot easier. So that's definitely a well done recurve. And then you have this, this portion up here that gives you a secondary edge and a secondary point right there. So there you go. I uh, didn't know, I don't know if I talked about it. The sharpening is done. It's kind of hard to mess up on a recurve and I think they've executed it right because that flare comes out here just like it does in the front. So that's, that's done well. You do have a, a lock bar insert in there with the over travel if you can see that that tab behind there so you're not going to over travel that titanium um, you got a nice chamfered spot right here there you go to be able to access that lock bar with that chamfer right there so it's easy to disengage the lock bar and that's a very very important factor on these smaller knives you don't want to come and flying out your hands and look at that action. This action, they dialed in this detent very nicely. I noticed all the two knives that I've handled so far had super smooth action, nice crisp detents, and this is no exception. Uh, let's see. I think I touched on everything that I want to touch on. Let's, let's get some size comparisons of some competition in this micro knife size category. And the uh, first one is uh, another competitor. Best Tech, um, what is this one called? The Best Tech Zen. And it's another company that gets the micro knives right. And as you can see, the Zen is a little bit shorter than the, um, the SNS. 
Uh, this one is almost, uh, uh, this is a, being that it's got a wider handle, it fills out the hand a little bit better as far as like a full grip. And that is the CRKT Squid. Almost identical in uh, size this way, but the Squid has more heft this way, filling the hands a little bit better. See, I can kind of get that four finger grip on there, like three and a half. Another micro knife in this category is the Raid Ops EDCK. And it's a good bit smaller than the SNS. Another one that I wish they would come back out with again is the Kershaw OD1, I think it is, the Lee Williams design. These two are close in size. The SNS has a little bit more blade length but about the same handle, or at least the same grip area being that you have the flipper tab on the OD-1. Let's see, another flipper in the budget category is the Jettison. I think this is, yeah, the Jettison, the Rob Carter design. This one could be considered more of a keychain knife. You even have the keychain lanyard on there, so just I just had this one nearby. And one more last one, a lot of people own this one, is the Spyderco... Brody. Dang it. So they have just about the same exact, exact exact grip area. So as far as before that forward choil, but being they have the forward choil on here, you definitely get a four finger grip on here, but you definitely have way more blade length on the SNS than the Rody. So some quick, just some quick gripes. Uh, everything functional on this knife is great. Um, but just have to, you know, pick out a few things. Uh, like I said, I, being that the, I understand that they, it's cheaper to use a quick flat slot right there, but I'd like to see it a little bit wider just so I could fit a U.S. dime in there, you know. It, it'll give you the capabilities of making adjustments out in the field if you don't have a flat head. Um, I would also love to see this blade shape without the recurve as well, just just like this, but without a recurve. I think it would be very attractive. I know I'd, I'd probably buy one. Um, let's see. Being that you have the Two Your Knives logo right here, I think it's overkill to put the Two Your Knife right there. I think that could be, you know, that, that could go away and you'd have a more sterile look. You could even shrink in the S35VN. I'm, I'm okay with the 97 right there. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Being that you have this very attractive, beautiful looking handle with these nice contours in here, that hole breaks up the lines a, a, a whole lot. I would love to see, uh, let's see if I have anything, like a lanyard post or something either done like this so you don't have to have the hole in the blade or when you have, of course I'm not going to have anything that has it. But y'all know what I'm talking about where you got it, you, where you can go use the backspacer as a, as a post area. That would have just kept it a lot cleaner of a look. You wouldn't have that hole, just my opinions. And that's not hurting the aesthetics. I mean, hurting the, the use of the knife. That's just an aesthetic appeal. Um, and the last thing, it doesn't really affect me, but if you had really skinny fingers, something to, to just note, you have this wide scale right here. And let's see, see the that point on that recurve? It's hard to show, but it's getting close. I mean, I had to really bear down in there to actually touch it. And then this point too, but I noticed this point is a little bit closer. I, like I said, I can rub my fingers on here, nothing. But if I bear down, I'm sure I might, might be able to catch it. If you had really skinny fingers, maybe that could be an issue. Just something to note. Uh, and while I was talking about it, I don't know if y'all saw this, but this thing, being as small as it is, they still have some nice milled out pockets in there to save a weight. Look at that. That's beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. So that is the Two Your Knives SNS. Uh, if Two Your Knives, if you don't own any, definitely you might want to put them on your radar because um, I've handled, I think, five Two Your Knives so far, and I've been highly impressed with every single one of them that I've handled. I've handled their their budget bruiser. That's probably one, that's in my top five all time favorite budget uh, knives. Um, I've handled their full size. I actually have another review. I don't know if it came out or not yet, but another two year knife. This is the Thorax. This is another one that, of course, you know I'm gonna love with that nice clip point blade. But this one's another well executed one. I had I, I've done a review on the of course it's gonna 
just look back at my videos. I have two reviews, one on the Bruiser and one on the oh, Argon. Another great knife. I'm definitely excited to see what uh, Tuya has in their near future. And uh, I'm very, very happy that they've joined in our pass around group. So um, all of all of our guys in the uh, in the pass around groups can check out their knives, and I think they will be just as impressed as I am. Especially, like I said, for these smaller knives. So there you go. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. If you own any two of your knives, please let me know what you think about them. Tell me if you think I think they're definitely worth the price tags. And if you, if you like one of their models now, I would pick one up now because I'm sure some of them, especially that Bruiser, I'm sure they won't stay at that price for long. So definitely, definitely jump on it before they have to raise their prices. Right now, they're just getting into the market. So I'm sure that's why they're priced the way they are. And um, this one's priced competitively. I think this is about the same, same price as the Zen and a few other the micro knives that I own. So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're not already, hit that subscribe button. And while you're right there hitting that subscribe button, hit that bell button. That way it'll notify you anytime I have a new video out so you don't miss a thing. Especially I'm creeping up on that slowly getting there to the 2,000 subscriber mark. And when I hit that milestone, I am going to do a, a, a nice giveaway. Something that I think everybody will, uh, will like something out of it. And uh, you don't want to miss it. So hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, and you're good to go. Hope everybody's having an absolute wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Peace.